Hello YouTubers, how are you doing today? Well, I hope you're having a good day. Praying the rosary, getting closer to God, and following His ways. Because Yahweh is the best way. Today, today I have a little bit of a revelation that I, uh, uh, I, I am discussing. I was um, looking into some stock market action and uh, doing some research and things of this nature. And like so many people, you know, you think you know, but you really don't know. There's a um, there's a uh, a verse in the Bible in Proverbs, Proverbs chapter one, verse eight. It says, "Fools despised wisdom and discipline." And uh, in this case, I was a fool. Not that I despised wisdom or despise wisdom or knowledge or discipline. However, some, like I said, sometimes you think you know, but you really don't know. And what I'm getting back to, what I'm trying to mention is, so the example that I'm, that kind of like slapped me in the face was this. Just uh, have an account, a stock, a stock account, a brokerage account, and playing around with the numbers and looking at different trades and things of this nature, some call options and things of this nature. And I was looking at the uh, at the Dow Jones Industrials, and I'm thinking to myself, there's a way to invest in the Dow Jones Industrials. You know, it's called the sticker is D D J I. And I really didn't know that. That you can trade the the Dow Jones. I just thought you can trade the stocks and different bonds and options and puts and things of this nature. But I never thought you can just invest in the Dow Jones Industrials. And today I kind of learned that. I kind of knew it, but I didn't know it. Or I knew about it, but I didn't know the intricacies of it or what it really meant. And this is what I'm referring to being a fool because I was a fool. And not that I reject wisdom, it's just sometimes you don't dig deep enough to understand everything that you really kind of need to know to be uh, a non-fool. So, <laughs> I'm getting a long way, taking a long way to get to the point, but this is what I'm trying to get to. For example, today, the Dow Jones is around uh, 27,686 uh, points. So I was okay, well, let me try to buy some Dow Jones Industrial, right? How much is it? <laughs> so I, I wanted to buy 10. I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to put in 10. I, I don't know what the price is, right? What's that? I don't know what the price is for Dow Jones, is it? I don't know. So it says when I put the preview order, it says oh, that we don't take transactions more than $250,000. I'm thinking, what? $250,000? What's that? Then lo and behold, okay, it's 10, or the quantity of 10, times the 27,686, which comes out to $276,000 and change. Hence, the two, it's greater than a quarter of a million dollars. I'm like, oh, oh. So if I want to buy one share of Dow Jones Industrial Average, it's actually the, the number, the price. The price is the number. I didn't know that. I thought the price was one thing and the number was another. No. So I'm like, wow, to buy one share of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, it's $27,686. I'm like, wow. And I go, hold on. I go, what was, because now I'm thinking, okay, now I'm getting dangerous. I'm thinking, what was the Dow Jones Industrial back in 1980, 40 years ago? And in 1980, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed for the year at 963.99. So it wasn't even $1,000 to buy one share of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And I was like, wow, can you imagine if I would have bought, like I wanted to buy today, 10, 10, or spend $10,000. I would have 
200, almost $280,000. I'm like, wow. Whew. That's a big difference. 10000 into $280,000. And I go, wow, I really missed the boat on that one. Whew. What if, if I would have known? And, um, hmm. But this takes me back to, um, to God and to Jesus and to what I've been talking about all this time about following God's ways. Because, you know, when we pass away, hopefully we've done everything correctly in the eyes of God and Jesus so that we can go into heaven. And I don't want to be a fool on that day, the day of judgment, when Jesus says, or if, you know, God forbid that Jesus says, no, you're going downtown. You can't pass through these pearly gates. And then I'd be saying the same thing I'm saying today. Oh, if I only knew, if I would have really just understood this, if, why was I such a fool? You know, why didn't I pray more? Why didn't I do penance why didn't I tithe? Why didn't I follow God's ways? Now, now I have to pay for that. So, this particular understanding of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, that I, uh, you know, not that I had $10,000 in my pocket back in 1980, but I probably could have whipped out $100 and uh, I don't know how far that would have gotten me, <laughs> but uh, but this you know this pales compared to um, to entering past the pearly gates, you know, because then you, you you're going to be living high off the hog for eternity. I mean, if, if I'm you know if I'm complaining about a difference of ten thousand two hundred eighty thousand dollars. What is the difference between going or not going into heaven? It's a lot more than $270,000, I'll tell you right now. So, well, that's the, um, the video. Hope you understand and appreciate the message. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And as always, God bless.